Hello and welcome to the Psalm a Day Daily Devotion with me, Pastor Chris Mathis from Epiphany Lutheran Church in Castle Rock, Colorado. Today our psalm is Psalm 14, which we read in the English Standard Version. To the choir master of David. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, they do abominable deeds, there is none who does good. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of man to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. They have all turned aside, together they have become corrupt. There is none who does good, not even one. Have they no knowledge? All the evildoers who eat up my people as they eat bread and do not call upon the Lord. There they are in great terror, for God is with the generation of the righteous. You would shame the plans of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion, when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Let Jacob rejoice. Let Israel be glad. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Did you know that there is actually a holiday for atheists? I know that sometimes, you know, we think, so Christmas and Easter, those are for the Christians. Um, there's Eid uh, for Muslims. Kwanzaa, whatever that is, for whomever it's for. And then there are, of course, those Jewish holidays like Yom Kippur, Passover, Rosh Hashanah, such and such. But atheists have a holiday too. Do you know what it is? It's on April 1st. April Fool's Day. And why do I say April Fool's Day is the holiday for atheists? Because of what it says in our psalm today the fool says in his heart there is no god atheists are fools according to the scripture and so if april 1st is april fool's day that is the day for the atheists now all seriousness though when we look at this psalm it really gives us a profound insight into human nature the 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 myth the idea the lie that's in our culture is that all people are basically good and that we all have kind of a, a spark of divinity within us and um, if we could just get in touch with that, if we could just believe in ourselves, we'd be able to do what's right and accomplish anything. The scripture looks at that and says, no way. In fact, the psalm says that God looks down to see if there are any who are good. It says, no, verse 1, there's none who is good. Verse 3, there's none who does good, not even one. And in fact, we are all, until Christ comes into our heart and into our lives, we're so stuck in our sin that our will is actually bound only to do evil, as Luther says in his famous writing, The Bondage of the Will. The Reformed, the Calvinists, have this uh, saying that humanity is totally depraved. That's not um, a Lutheran uh wording, but it's a great description of what Lutherans also believe. Humanity is totally depraved, and there's no good in us until Christ creates good in us by giving us faith, forgiving our sins, and coming to have his spirit dwell within us. And so, the only righteous one who exists, the only one who totally is good and has never done wrong, is Jesus Christ. That's why he is fit to be our savior. That's why he can be our perfect sacrifice on the cross. And that's also why uh, after we come to faith in Christ, we actually are righteous. We are becoming uh, the people that God wants us to be. And he no longer looks at us as abominable, totally depraved sinners, but he looks at us is simultaneously righteous and a sinner. We are both sinners and saints made holy by Jesus. And we are being conformed to the image of the Son, as it says in the New Testament. We're being conformed, which means each and every day we become more and more like Jesus. 
And as John writes in his epistle, 1 John chapter 3, verse 2, when Christ returns, when he appears, we shall be like him. We shall see him as he is. And so uh, the comfort is that when Christ returns, we'll finally be fully like Christ and there will be no more trace of that sin within us. Until that day, we struggle. We struggle against our old sinful nature. Uh, we struggle to be the man or woman that God wants us to be. And that's why we need his grace and forgiveness every day. That's why he gives us his grace and forgiveness every day through the blood of Jesus. I hope this is an encouragement to you today and be sure to leave a message in the comments. Thank you for tuning in for the Psalm a Day daily devotion. If you have been blessed by this message and ministry, please be sure to leave a note or a question in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and may God bless you each and every day.